So I've reached out to a lot of people with these videos and many of you are ready to try out veganism but you just don't know what to eat, how to go about things, and I've been asked to make a cookie cutter program for just everyone to follow. And I don't want to do that because it doesn't teach you how to eat, it only tells you what to eat. And everyone has different lifestyles and eating habits and access to certain foods. So this is going to be the first in a video series that teaches you how to eat a vegan diet and by the end of it you should be able to structure your own healthy sustainable vegan diet that's suitable for you. And first off we have to talk about protein and calories. So a lot of people assume that vegans just can't get enough protein because they don't eat any meat and they need to have protein supplements to get enough protein in, which is just completely false. Studies have proven that vegans get the exact same amount of protein as meat eaters without supplementation. And even if you're an athlete, say a bodybuilder, power lifter, you still don't have to worry about protein. There are guys like Avi Liani who have been vegan for over 30 years, don't take any protein supplements, and they still very clearly get enough protein. And I'll link an article down below where Avi Liani talks about his diet and where he gets his protein. And there are many other vegan athletes from long distance runners, triathletes, uh, fighters, strongmen. A uh, vegan diet supports any kind of athletic endeavor you'll ever do. Some people also say that plants don't have a complete amino acid profile, which is also false. Every single plant has a complete amino acid profile. It's just that the ratio of these amino acids varies from plant to plant, and the total protein also differs. But nobody eats just one food, so as long as you're eating a common sense diet where you get a variety of whole plant foods, from fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds. You'll get all of the amino acids you need and all of the total protein you need to build muscle. And that's assuming you eat enough calories because if you don't eat enough calories, you'll of course not get enough protein. And that brings me to the biggest issue people have when they first go vegan. They just don't eat enough calories. A lot of people just eat a couple bananas and an apple and feel full. And then by the end of the day, they only eat half the calories that they normally would eat. And then they wonder why they feel sick and weak. And then they just fall off the wagon and go back to eating meat. So it's extremely important you find very calorically dense foods to make a staple in your diet and the most calorically dense and cheapest foods you can eat are starches, which includes grains, root vegetables, beans, and legumes. Now, you don't have to eat what I eat. These are just examples and you can choose any foods you like in these categories, but for me, uh, my grains usually come from oats, rice, and Ezekiel bread. For root vegetables, I usually eat yams and sweet potatoes, and for beans and legumes, I usually eat black beans, chickpeas, and lentils. Now, it's really good to have fruit in your diet, and I recommend having at least six servings of fruit per day, but if you want fruit to make up a larger portion of your diet, you do have to keep in mind that fruit is more slimming than cooked starches. So if you are eating more fruit, you probably will have to eat more calories, which is an especially important consideration if you're an athlete. So again, these are just examples. You can eat whatever fruits you want, but it's important to keep in mind you need to get enough calories in throughout the day, so you want to stick to calorically dense fruits. And my preferred fruit sources are bananas, apples, mangoes, and dates. I do eat other fruits than that, like blueberries and cherries, but because they aren't very calorically dense, they don't make up a huge portion of my diet. Now, some of you might still have trouble getting in enough calories, even if you're eating really high calorically dense starches like barley or rice or oats. Then for those of you, I recommend eating more high fat foods like nuts, seeds, and avocados. I'll go over why I generally recommend a low fat diet in a future video. But for those of you who chronically under eat, I recommend upping your fat intake to get in enough calories. So that covers protein and calories. If you have any questions or any input to add, then leave a comment down below. And next video in the series is going to cover meal frequency and macronutrient ratios. And hopefully this helps you start making some vegan games. And I'll see you all next time. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.